Well, you can use uh, anything to make a movie, even a uh, smartphone. And that's what I'm using now. And that's why the picture is vertical, because I put it on my uh, steering column inside the car, and there's no support points. But I don't recommend using it for, like, you know, if you want to start a YouTube channel or something. Uh, basically, there's, uh, besides smartphones, no, now it's hot, I close all the windows. Okay, basically, besides uh, smartphones and regular phones that shoot now a pretty decent video, uh, your choice is, if you want to impress, you know, your neighbors or you have too much money, you can get the DSLR, digital, you know, single lens reflex camera, basically designed for... Um, uh, high-end photography but they also do uh, videos but trust me when I say that those cameras take a lot of learning to you know to find out how to use them and also they're very heavy and they're not especially designed for video because there's so many settings you, you, half of the time you have to do it in manual mode uh, like because the biggest problem for some reason these high-end uh, DSLR cameras have is uh, autofocusing. You know, now in the 21st century when we have all this technology, as soon as you switch to DSLR, the first thing you know is that the camera will start, you know, you use it, of course it has the autofocus, but it starts there's always that noise because the camera just once it grabs a subject and the subject is moving, it keeps doing the zoom in, zoom out, and there's always that annoying sound so you gotta camouflage it with something. So that's no good. The second one, of course, you can just get a cheap camcorder, like a regular thing that you hold like this with a with a flip. I hate those because of such awkward position for a hand. You know, you cannot. It's very difficult to shoot yourself if you want to talk like this. You know, uh, I try them. Get rid of them. Now, next one. So basic camcorder. Uh, DSLR and then the best one for beginners what I recommend is something like this uh, this is called flip HD and uh, you can buy this probably still on eBay but the um, uh, the company stopped making them but that's what you're looking for you're looking for a, a little camera that's easy to hold like this that's what I like doing you know like when I shoot myself, when I do kind of like an interview. And it only has basically two buttons. This is the power. And this is record and stop recording. And okay, these are delete and uh, play. But that's it. Ma the major buttons are only two. So you don't have to worry about exposure, you know, like shutter speed, prior uh, uh, aperture, autofocusing. It's all built in. Everything is always in focus unless it's too close but this is the best the best camera it uh, this shoots in 720p so uh, like you know not a really high definition but pretty decent especially for YouTube and uh, it's very easy to transfer it has this built-in uh, USB kind of arm and you just hook it up to a computer you know transfer the movie and that's it then you just do some editing and I'll show it later but this is the best camera for beginners. Unfortunately, this was made by the company Flip, right? And then Cisco. Cisco bought them. And as soon as they did, they put a notice on the on the website saying, hey, uh, the production of this camera was discontinued. And now we're recording with the Flip. As you can see, the picture changed to wide format, 16 by 9, which is perfect for YouTube. And I wanted to give you, so basically, since this flip might be difficult to find, I suggest for people that are looking uh, in, to get into this, I suggest uh, they try to find a camera like that. So basically, simple controls, fixed lens, fixed autofocus, and uh, at least 720p. You don't want 1080p, like really high resolution, because then the files will be too big and too difficult to work with, because you do need a computer uh, to make the final movie. Uh, well, you, you can hook this up 
you know to a TV like this one even has a, a HDMI port like a port for high definition television but still you know it's mostly like raw footage you want to cut out some pieces you know maybe add a title you know some transition some nice effects between shots um, so I, I saw at the Best Buy and Future Shop now they sell a whole bunch of cameras like this but they have the weird shape I think most of the time they look like uh, like the screen is here and you hold it like this kind of like a gun you know I don't see many cameras with this design uh, you see where the lens shoot goes like this so you can hold it like this and I don't know to me that's really really convenient I made so many movies with this camera and most of the movies on my channel are were made with the flip and recently I experimented with the Nikon D5200, D5300 DSLR and then I just got uh, GoPro Hero 3 the you know the action camera and that one is can be okay but it's not for every every situ situation and it can be really difficult to learn for for you know when you're new to all this now I wanted to provide a couple of uh, tips here uh, for shooting first of all uh, a good movie it's a collection of short clips you know clips one, like this two three four one, five two three four five one two three four five of course there's no movement in the frame but uh, that's what you want to do you want to shoot very short clips you know four or five maybe six uh, maybe ten seconds long and you want to stop the camera when there's nothing happening you know just don't keep it rolling <laughs> sorry and then you're gonna use your video editing software to combine this but short clips make for a very dynamic movie and it's easy to see and the second the second most important uh, tip that I can supply here what I learned is that it's best not to move the camera see like right now I'm holding it in my hand and uh, it sits on top of the steering wheel and it's pretty steady but you can also basically one of the, uh, I forgot to mention one of the conditions of a good camera is that it has to have a tripod connector and this flip why I still love it so much is that it's pretty much like a really decent camera very good quality and you can still connect uh, the tripod and I carry a small tripod like this size maybe like 15 centimeters it's very light and like in, in a situation like this where I'm talking and I don't want to hold it in my hand I would just connect the tripod put it on the dashboard you know because the camera by itself even though it has this uh, flat uh, bottom but it's not steady and uh, quite often your dashboard is not level right so you need a tripod but what you want to avoid is you want to avoid this you know you want to avoid movement because it's one thing when it's a human eye and we walk and we run you know and uh, we jump up and down but our field of vision is not affected by that but you cannot match the human eye and it's all in all its complexity and, and uh, it's like this is really you know something to get a camera that can do that you probably need to spend I don't know two hundred thousand dollars you know so humans really get basically angry when you watch a, uh, a video like this you know when someone just starts running with the camera you know and just doing this so so what you want to do is you want to point the camera at an, where action is happening right and hold it steady with your hand particularly like this like I'm, I put it on this uh, top of my door and then you you press record and you record and then you stop recording after like five six you know ten seconds and uh, you do it again and uh, that's why it's good also not to have a zoom in the camera because uh, beginners usually uh, use it too much you know it's best like this camera there's no zoom you know but it has a very big uh, field of um, everything is sharp you know so basically keep your camera steady and keep your shots short and then use the editing software to combine them 
So th those two tips will make your videos much easier to, to view and people will love them. And of course, as long as you choose a you know, proper topic, uh, people love watching some action when something is happening because that's the, what's the point of uh, doing a video if you can just take a picture, right? So you want to show some action, especially when it's funny or something unusual like for example yesterday I'm in Niagara Falls and I went for uh, for a ride I went I spent a day well not a day but a couple of hours at uh, Marineland uh, the amusement park in Niagara Falls Canada and I took my GoPro with me and I asked them for permission they said yeah go ahead and I basically risked my life it was real scary to go on this uh, it's called uh, Dragon Dungeon it's basically like you know the the little car that goes on the trail and it does a couple of loops you know and you fall in your basically on your ass it was real scary and I <laughs> and the only reason I did that because I had a camera in my head using those straps and I thought that would make you know a fantastic footage and guess what then when I when I stopped and I came home to download the movie I noticed that by mistake I pushed uh, instead of video I pushed photo button and the camera just took two pictures boom boom that's it there was no there's no video between the two pictures like in the beginning and in the end so I just lost it and there's and there's no way I'm paying again forty dollars and I am taking that crazy upside down ride you know so what I'm trying to say is that uh, people love watching that kind of action but uh, the more complicated the camera the more difficult it is for the operator because that GoPro it's so tiny like the screen is so tiny you, you can never sure if it's you know working or not like on this one you can see there's a big red light right and then actually in the back there's a display like maybe four times bigger than on the um, on the on the GoPro but this camera this flip costs two hundred dollars Oh, I think uh, when they close the production you can buy it for like 120 bucks and that GoPro cost 450 bucks and the screen is like this size you know you cannot see anything so so keep it simple get a camera like this and uh, watch more of my movies thank you